What's up guys, welcome to another video. And in this video, we're going to be updating OpenCore from 0.6.2 to 0.6.3 as that was officially released two days ago. Now, the first thing that you need to do is of course, grab all your files. You're gonna need the newest version of OpenCore, the newest version of Lilu, whatever green and virtual SMC. And we're also gonna have a tab open for OpenCore Sanity Checker. I have all my files right here and i'm just going to open with the archive utility and once they're done we can close all of these tabs simple and easy next thing we need to do is just to clean this up so we're going to just drag that all down here and probably throw it in the trash eventually like right now so now that we're all cleaned up and good to go you're going to need to grab a copy of your efi and to do this i use efi agent and i mount my main disk so we're going to minimize and this is your config.plist. You're going to open it up in plist pro or whatever editor that you use. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start editing this and it's going to be hopefully not too much of a pain in the butt. So all I have to do is drag and drop it here and we can go and see the differences. As you can see, we're so far green across the board and I don't see any real issues. My god, is it really going to be that easy? No, it's not. So force resolution is missing. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in force resolution. So I'm going to take you. And where is that? That's output. All right, so that's probably in here. Output. And we're going to hit new child. And we're going to copy this from force resolution. And this is it. We're going to just paste that in. And it says it's supposed to be set to no. So that's usually a Boolean. And there we go. Force resolution is there. And that apparently is it. So if you've already updated to 0.6.2, you can go to 0.6.3 with literally no issues. And I'm not joking. Literally zero issues. That was honestly the quickest thing that I've ever seen inside of a config. There's lots of changes in the, the change log, but I guess really not that many to count. So we're going to hit save on this. We're going to close this out and I'm going to exit this. What we're going to now do is replace our kexts with the newest ones. So as you can see, these three are getting replaced first. So we're going to open up virtual SMC and we're just going to drag and drop whatever we use. So we're going to replace that and whatever green is next going to replace that then Lilu and that text the next thing we're going to go do is replace your open core EFI so open this up go to x64 EFI open core and just drag and drop go to boot and you're going to want to drag and drop this as well so there we go we're updated to 0.6.3 and then you're going to take this and you're going to stick this back on your drive. I do recommend using a USB to test first. So to do that, I'm basically just going to go to disk utility, wait for it to load forever. And we're going to go and erase it. I'm going to call this USB and we're going to make sure it's a GUID partition map. And once it's done, we're just going to mount the EFI for this. So it should show up right here. Sandes Extreme. Enter your super complicated password. And drag and drop. And that's it. You're finished. Reboot. Give it a test. And record any issues you can with images on your phone. That way you can go back and fix any problems you have. Because you're going to have a reference. This is a simple, easy guide to update from 0.6.2 to 0.6.3. And just to let you know, this was my AMD Ryzen system. Um, so specs are in the description below for that, minus the GTX 1070. Since we're on Big Sur, I'm using my RX 570. Anyway, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found this useful on updating. Most times it's really simple. Sometimes you have to change a lot of stuff, but this time it was pretty simple. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.